Corporate giants around the world are planning to spend almost a billion dollars on a new strategy to tackle climate change. This strategy is not about shifting to renewable energy, nor is it about planting more trees. The strategy is to pull carbon dioxide emissions right out of the air. In 2021, global emissions reached the highest level ever. Scientists say cutting down the use of fossil fuels alone is not enough to stave off the worst effects of climate change. They say the world has moved at an extremely slow pace over the last 40 years to rein in greenhouse gases. The risk of increasingly destructive heat waves, floods and storms mounted exponentially in recent years, which means heat-trapping gases need to be pulled out of the atmosphere. And the latest climate assessment by the United Nations says carbon dioxide removal is unavoidable if countries are going to meet their pledges to keep average global temperatures from rising to ever harmful levels. Much of the technology to soak up carbon is still in its infancy. Some techniques have a severe impact on land. Some climate activists say it is a risky distraction and that it would give the fossil fuel industry a free pass to keep operating. So why are scientists pushing for carbon removal? Data shows that greenhouse gas emissions need to fall fast. Emissions need to drop 43% by 2030 and then fall to net zero by 2050 in order to limit warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius. They say though some solutions like cutting emissions using renewable energy are already widespread and cost effective, some emissions will still be trickier to handle. Some sectors including aircraft manufacturing, shipping vessel manufacturing and steel making require fuels that create extremely high heat and by 2050 they may still be producing emissions. And how exactly does carbon removal work? In simple words, the idea is to absorb carbon dioxide emissions that have already accumulated in the atmosphere. Those emissions would be logged away in some kind of permanent storage, generally in underground geologic formations, so that they do not escape to create more warming. But despite carbon dioxide's power to heat up the planet, it's making up less than 1% of the atmosphere that makes it tricky to capture from the air in large quantities. Let's take a look at some of the methods that can be used to do so. Number one, using nature to absorb carbon emissions. How exactly would this work? Nature is the most powerful carbon sponge around us. In fact, plants take up carbon dioxide through photosynthesis, locking it in their tissues. This makes the world's forests, grasslands, soils and wetlands huge reservoirs of carbon. Building these natural reserves could help slow down warming. This method by far is the most cost effective. Forests, wetlands, mangroves need to be protected from development. Option number two is to use leftover plants to make energy and capture emissions. Plants are already used to make electricity in biomass power plants, which means while plants trapped carbon, the same is released in the process of generating energy. Very few biomass plants are working on capturing those carbon emissions and then storing them in underground geologic formations. This is known as bioenergy with carbon capture and storage. The third option, which may not be very cost effective, is pulling out the carbon from the air using big machines. In 2021, the largest carbon removal project started in Iceland. The plant is essentially a carbon vacuum. A fan pulls in the air, the carbon is captured by a special material and then it is pumped underground into geological formation where it is mineralized, remaining trapped. Other direct air capture plants are in development in the US but most are still pilot projects. The technology is expensive and requires a lot of energy. How much carbon removal do we really need? That depends on how fast humans can reduce their use of fossil fuels. The sooner concentrations of greenhouse gases fall in the atmosphere, the faster the trend of rapidly warming temperatures can be stopped. By 2050, carbon removal may need to be scaled up to 10 billion tons of carbon per year. Right now, direct air capture plants are just pulling out 0.01 million tons.
We on now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.